Well, hello, welcome back to innovation. When last we were here, we got our ladybug to know when it was being touched by our little pointer here. I'm gonna turn my video camera off. I'm gonna click on video sensing. I'm gonna switch this to off and just click the lock and my camera would turn off. What we do now is we need to make sure that we create more bugs for us to touch. So we're gonna create, construct some more bugs on our screen. To do that, we need to clone our ladybug. So let's get a green flag event create. And we want our bug to move to a random spot when first get started we're going to go to a random position and we want to set the ID remember the ID is unique to our ladybugs for the first ladybug to one so we're going to set ID first ladybug to one then we're going to have our ladybug clone itself Now we should have two ladybugs on our screen. After. We have clicked the green flag, except the two ladybugs are actually on top of each other. So we have to move our second ladybug to a random position as well. So we need to go in and create when they start as a clone. First thing we're gonna do is move our ladybug to a random location. So let's see how that works. Stop, and now we get our two ladybugs on the screen. We also need to work with the ID so our second ladybug has a different ID from the first. We're gonna to go to variables. We need to increase the bug population by one because now there's two of them. And we're gonna set the ID to the bug population. So once we've created two bugs, we're going to increase the bug population and set the ID to the current bug population, which will be two. Let's see how it works. So we have, before we see how it works, we have to do one more thing. We have to go into our main and set our bug population. We have to make sure that our bug population starts when we hit our green flag. Okay, hit my green flag and you can see that I have two bugs on the screen. When I move my pointer over the first bug, it says found me. Move my pointer over the second bug, it says not me. Found me, not me. So now we need to create some way of moving them around on the screen so the game is a little bit harder to play. We're gonna go back to our ladybugs and we are going to move our ladybug when it is not found. I'm gonna go and do a broadcast message to see what's happening. Events, broadcast, new message, and we're gonna call this move. And I receive move, I want ladybug, oops, to move to a random position. Go to a random position. Let's see how that works. And you can see when I hit green flag now, found me, not me, not me. See how they move when it's not right? How me works. Not me, there we go. So every time it's not me, you can see that the ladybugs move, which is what happens. 
Up. Okay. The next thing I want to happen is I want to broadcast some information that we actually touched our ladybug. We want to be able to create some more ladybugs here. I'm going to broadcast. Sunspot. New message. I call it touched. So when we have touched the ladybug, we want to send that message out. When we haven't touched the message, we're just going to broadcast move. Now, part of our ladybugs being touched is we're also going to broadcast move again. But we're going to do something special when we have our ladybugs touched. So I'm going to go to when I receive a message. When I receive touched, I want the ladybug to delete. Now, this is actually going to delete every clone that is on the stage except for the original ladybug so we're going to be left with just one ladybug stage which means we need to build some way of creating some more ladybugs so let's go back to main and we're going to create an event in main when i receive touch i want to first play a sound make this a little bit better Play the sound now if you don't have the popping sound you can go into sounds click search type in pop you can see it's right there and that popping sound The next thing I want to do is I want to set the bug population to one. Because all the other bugs have been deleted except for the original bug. Now, I want to put in a loop here. And in my loop right now, I only want to do this one time. So it only creates one bug. And I'm gonna go into create a clone of myself. We're gonna do this one time. So when we do this now, we can see that we get the original bug, found me, popped. and one other bug. Whoops, I made a mistake. This should be ladybug. We're creating clones of the ladybug. So now let's do this. Click. Found me. So we always get two bugs. Not me. Found me. You can see the other one's way up here in the corner. If I hide the variables, always a good thing to do, everyone, is to hide the variables. Go back to the ladybug. Variable, because remember the ID is only on the ladybug. I got two ladybugs. Found me. And they move positions. So now we kind of have a game. Every time the ladybugs reload, we have to figure out which one is the correct ladybug. So I think that's pretty good for today. I'll see you next time.